Rage Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. As always, with Ryan Boniface and Grandpa Jose Noya. How are we doing, guys? Thank you. I'm not Grandpa yet. Yet. You look like one, Joe. You look like one. I look like Grandpa. Get out. I've got bit. an Inspiration Nation hoodie on. None of you wearing the hoodies, I see. Well, that's true. That's because as we No discuss... hoodies. No mug shots for ages on this podcast. Right, oh, I'm going to show you. I've got one here. I've got one here. Look. Old and man shouts. To, old man can, shouts at crowd. I've started to use it to store stuff in. So there's like a train ticket and a pair of scissors out at the top of my Inspiration Nation mug. But help! Oh look, this is my a full house. Cuts them off. I, I, yeah, my full house. No it's branding. A full house. Oh, that's oh, brand I love it. I love it. I love no it one's well. tuning in to hear this. You lose most listeners in the first minute, and we're just rambling on about mugs. So let's get on with the show. Go on, we are thank the mugs. you, everyone out there who's still with us, listening, downloading, watching us on YouTube. Follow us on social media at Listen to I N, Listen T O I N, and of course find Joe all over social media. Inspiration. I've got it wrong there. J underscore. I've forgotten your tag. It's all out of my head, Joe. J Noya underscore Inspiration Nation. Stick it in your Google machine, and you will find Joe. Right. So we tried to get someone tried to ask in the preamble before we start recording, but we never answered the question. So to solve the mystery, who's the master of the topic this week? Don't deadpan me, Joe. You're in charge of this stuff. <laughs> it's me i'm doing i'm doing a lee i'm doing a lee i was, I was going to see who's going to break first but then we'd lose a lot of listeners on the podcast but so we're down for breaking that lee yeah it's me isn't it it's me this week so the topic the pickle the the stick of whatever we're all in it this week i've got no idea what we're calling it however this week we are going to be talking about and it feels like we're an x factor the power of yet okay Right. When I say to you the power of yet, what do you guys understand about the power of yet? What's it bring to your mind? What's the first thing that pops into your head? Is this first... like a... Oh, sorry. Go on, Ryan. You go. So the first thing I thought about was how long does it take you to reveal the title? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm trying to build up suspense. Like I want to build up suspense. You know, like, right. like the winner is... Suspense, it? much like jokes, are not your thing, Joe. So just leave that to us. We'll yeah, bring but the... Yeah, but sure we'll bring the keep... sizzle. You just us, bring that's the brave of you. That's brave I've got of keep you to trying. say us. I've got to keep trying, haven't I? Because, you know, that's the whole point, right? Left to hear it somewhere. Go on. Go on. I, cut, I, cut, I cut you off from your legitimate thought, thought line, so I apologise. <laughs> oh, is that all you were cutting in with? Is this like a I can't do this yet type of mindset thing? Is that what you mean? Well, just do what you think you that's mean. That's what then. I think. So, that's what kind of jumps into my head. Okay. Right. That, so you think, the you think it's... And it might not be, but I just yet yeah, kind of seems like a putting off word to me. A putting off word is in what way? A putting off word, what do you mean? I can't do that yet. I don't have the time. I can't do yet. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Or like a negative, like oh, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't oh, okay. see it that way. Okay. I, th I thought got? I saw it the flip opposite. I can't do it yet because I'm currently learning to do it, or I haven't haven't been shown how to do that yet. Or I rather than it being a negative in the sense of not negative, but rather than it not being that kind of bringing yourself up aspect, it's like I can't quite run five k without stopping yet but i'm i'm working my way towards it but like, that's the way I, I read it or heard it ryan you're an absolute genius that is exactly what i'm after fabulous so someone in my here clap on and sit in no, no 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 that's not the case it's... So why it's... did you take it off <laughs> <laughs> see blimey ryan's oh, yeah. on fire tonight oh my god blimey in hell oh my lord this is a fire podcast this week oh my lord i don't know what to do first i'm getting berated for my comedy and now you've just been done for your cap anyway uh, yeah, so this is this is the really about a growth mindset. Um, so you guys join on TikTok. Thank you for joining. Thanks, Loz, for joining. I wonder if it's, if it's the Loz. I wonder. So thank you for joining. So yeah, this is a power yet. So I so I've got a book by Carol Dweck called Growth Mindset, and actually the idea came from watching Mark Drager's podcast, the We Do Hard Things podcast, where he was talking about the power of yet. And this thing's come up to my mind a couple of times. And then I was in, in my corporate role and in, in, the, in, in our HR big meeting, they come up with the power of yet. So I said, ah, oh, okay. And do you know what? I, I think I've read it. I think it's in the book. But you know, when you read a book, you don't try to take everything in. Um, so I just like, well, what, you know, let's, 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 let's dig into this a little bit. So the power of yet is like Ryan said, it's about if you're trying something and, you know, or, or you, you know, you, you failed at something, um, you can't do that yet. Like for Ryan at the minute, you're not streaming yet, right? You know, for Lee, I'm not sure what you're working on. Oh, yeah, I'm still, you know, I'm still not the ultimate judge, a non judgmental person yet, right? You're working on it. You're working on it. And the beauty of this was that 
what happened was if you go to YouTube and type in, if you type in the power of yet, yeah, Carol Dweck, you'll see the 11, 11 minute video and the actual scientific research to say that if you start looking at things that I can't do this yet, because, you know, because you're learning it, because you're failing and you're working towards it, it actually has a massive effect on your mind, on your brain. They actually did some research where they, you know, they do the brain scans when people, when, when actually it's based on children where they were like, you know, children that were like, were basically rewarded for the results or they failed the results and then they found it difficult. Basically, the other ones are saying they couldn't do it yet. The brain activity when you're facing difficult things was 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 just extraordinary. The people that were like, just would give up or just like, oh, I need the results now and then I'm going to find different, like I won't. I suppose the guys would almost like give up because they didn't get the initial results straight away. Their brain activity was very low, whereas the people that were like, that were focused on the yet, I'm not doing it, I'm learning a process was lots of firing of the of, of the neurons and what happened was because it can't do it yet they would lean into a difficult thing they would do it they would try harder keep going at it find the information just find more creative ways of getting to the outcome and i thought this was amazing um, and when they did the research they, they talked about not rewarding the results and we talked about this before and it's about rewarding the process so the effort of the things you do rather than oh I won at this or I didn't do it, win at this. It's about you doing the work. And this is what I found lovely about it. And actually, when I think back about podcasts, I'm sure we did a podcast on Think Bigger, but I know I did, it might have been an older video, but always about Think Bigger. So they talk about, you know, you can't do it yet, but you've got a vision of the future, which is hopeful, which you can still work towards you doing those little steps. So that's really um, the whole point of it. And they did a study on children that were in deprived areas that couldn't even hold a pencil. And after they you know, instilled this power of yet and this strategy, they started becoming the high performers and outperforming, you know, um, other children that were in, you know, well, affluent areas that were necessarily getting good results. So what I'd like us to think about, you know, here on TikTok, here, you know, here on, on, on the podcast is think about how you can get the power of yet into your own life to say, okay, I can't do this yet. So when I'm playing tennis at the minute, I can't hit that serve as hard as I want to yet. So that means I've got to do more practice. That means I've got to put more effort in, all those sorts of things. And so that for me is it. And if I lose a game, actually, I've got to admit, you know, I said I won against a 23-year-old the other day. I lost against a 73-year-old girl the other day, right? But that, that means I've got to get better. That means not yet. I'm still getting better, but that's the process. It's rewarding the process. So I go, so you guys just going to pass this on to you about is there anything that comes out of this side of this for you and, and, and whether you actually do it, you know, whether you, whether you, you don't, you may not use the yet, but you might do some derivative sort of or, or you might just have, oh, I've never even thought of it. What do you think? I'm going to say the latter that I don't think I've ever really thought of it, but I really like it. Um, I think I have that book somewhere in the house as well that I don't think I've ever read, but I think I'm going to have a look through for that as well, Joe, that you mentioned that the title jumps out at me, but I really, I really like that as a as a concept and almost like a calming method as well. So it keeps you focused, it keeps you looking ahead, uh, keeps you working on what you're doing, but it almost takes the pressure off at the same time. I I really like that. I'm gonna that's one that I'm gonna consciously try and adopt. So the whole but thing I don't think league. I had thought about it before at all. I don't think I've even oh, heard really? it before. What they were saying is when people were like just relying on the results right now and like, like they were talking about grades in school and like they didn't get that result. They become so deflated and actually the ones that didn't have that growth mindset about using yet yeah, and, and the way they would you know talk to use resilience essentially that's what it's about really they would actually use other methods to get the result and one of those methods was actually cheating well they would actually cheat to get the result or the other method would be find other people that done worse than them so they could feel better about themselves and i thought that's really interesting because i think that's a natural go-to isn't it that's, people naturally might go to that space and so i think this is super powerful you know whether we, you know we you know no, I wish I'd had this at school because literally I struggled at school. I, I literally got like three GCC grade C's. That's it. And the rest I just failed. Like, well, I suppose not failed, but I got lower than a C and the C was the required grade, right? And if, I, if I'd had this, I think, I, I know, if, I, if I'd been rewarded, you know, it's based on the effort, come on, keep putting the effort, then I think I would have, I think I would have done better. But now there's no way time to waste, right? If you're struggling with something, implement it now. It doesn't, you don't have to be, you know, you can be any age and you can implement this. It shows that our minds can still grow no matter what, what we think, where we think we are. We can, we can, we can actually get, we can actually get stronger and better if we use our minds and then we build the neural pathways. It's all scientifically researched. It's a brilliant video, by the way. And she's fantastic. Um, really delivers it in a good way as well. So yeah, no, that's just what, um, that's what I really think about. I really loved it. And again, one of the things I really, I'm really keen about is that, um, I look at nature 
and nature, and I don't know where I heard this, but this is a really good thing. If you're not growing, you're decaying. I'm going to say it again. If you're not growing, you're decaying. Look at nature. If, if, if trees are like, like are dead, like they just start decaying. And this is why I'm talking about the thing about retirement. There's a little clip I did on YouTube and talk about retirement. You know, if we retire, let's make sure we have something that we're aiming for doing that we are still growing in some way, or shape or form. I think it's really important to have something, some sort of purpose that we have. You know, if we're not working, if we're not, you know, we're working, paying our bills, or whatever. If we, if, if, we, if we don't do that, then let's, let's find something that, that, that we can grab hold of that we've got, we've got purpose behind it. And I think that's really, really important to keep us going. So, you know, it's another thing. And we use, you're not doing it yet, right? You're not doing it yet. But if you're working towards it now, think of the idea, start implementing, start, start taking little bits of time. It's what I've been doing. It's what we do with the podcast. What we do, isn't it? We, we, we you know, we, we do, do this in our spare time, right? And that's what I think is fantastic. You know, we're not there yet. Like the podcast, we're at, what, YouTube, 700 subscribers. We're not yet at 1 million, whatever, right? Yet, 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 yet. That's what I'm saying. Ryan, you got anything? Uh, similarly to Lee, I don't think that I've done it. I don't think I've ever considered it in that way. I think the way you presented it led me to think that that was the way to consider it. But I think it can only bring positives. I think it can only um, it can only help change your mindset in the right way. It's just knowing that the best way to phrase it, it's it's knowing that that's part of the mindset you need to progress. You know, it's not going to be everything. You actually have to put that effort in at the same time to be able to make use of the power of yet, yeah, right? If you just say, oh, I've not gone to the gym yet, but you haven't been, you know, you don't plan on going for three years, then there's no benefit to that. <laughs> is there? There's, there's no benefit. These are the puzzle that's much part of a bigger jigsaw that is kind of self-improvement and self-motivation, right? So I think it's just a good uh, uh, weapon to have in your armory in terms of, in terms of that. Oh, I love that. You called it a weapon. Oh, I love that. I think that's awesome. Put it in your armory, you know, here we go. Like, I love that because the whole thing about this as well, you said something that really, really resonated. Um, that whole thing about I'm going to the gym in three years, like literally you will not go to the gym if you're going to sell in three years time. You're absolutely right. So what is the step you can take? What is the one smallest thing? And I'm going to repeat, I'm going to repeat like I did in the other podcast. I think we talked about before. James Clear, Atomic Habits. If you want to do something, do it in the smallest way. So if you're going to go to the gym, just get the gym clothes out and put them on, right? That's the first start, right? Then even if you go to the gym for 30 seconds and you come home, you showed up and you can then extend it. You just, just do it bit by bit. And I love that. And this is what I did with the running. I just put my, I just put my clothes out the night before so I can just chuck them on and just go out. And that's it. And it doesn't have to be long, right? It's, I'm just going out. I'm going out. As long as I'm out. And then, then, then extend the run, extend the run, extend the run. And of course, I'm going to mention, just going to mention, you guys are going to get a laugh at this one. Do a 12-hour walk. Not a 12 minute walk. Did I do a 12 hour walk? Did I do a 12 hour walk? Did I just say it? So, but before, what I'm just talking about is before all this growth stuff that we do, all of us, right? I'd never done that 12 hour walk. Yeah. But when I heard this 12 hour walk and I thought, I want to do it, like because I've been, the mind is like, I'm wiring my own mind to like jump into these more difficult things. I'm more inclined to lean into it and just get it done. And my actions, the, the actions that I do now, like if you look 10 years ago, I'm just a different person. I'm just a totally different person just 10 years ago. In fact, one of my coaching groups earlier, if you look back 20 years ago, I, if you said to me 20 years ago that I would be delivering training on coaching and leadership and doing this podcast and everything we're doing right now, I'd have said you're absolutely crazy. I got no way, Jose, would I <laughs> said on that, honestly. Would you have been would, talking to be yourself doing? then? Yeah. Yes. I am a bit crazy, but I am right. But that's what that. But if you, but if we go twenty years, we talk about decades, don't we? We talked, we talked about that before. But if you go if way back, I'm a totally different person. You, I would never have done it. Wouldn't have the confidence. I'd say I've got no confidence to do that. I can't do it. So it's those small steps over a period of time, and it's the tiny steps that really, really matter. So just take the small steps and use the power yet. Anyway, anything further from you guys? Just, that long? just saying before the, the small steps thing, and I know the the. the Gym example is a good one with three years that, you know, when's that going to happen? But I think there's even just the difference between I've not gone or I'm not going to I'm not going yet. You kind of it takes out the finite nature of the statement. Yeah. It, it kind of makes things just that mentality makes things more open ended and kind of like, well, this hasn't happened. So it's not going to happen. So I'm not going to try or I'm not yeah. going to do it. or I'm not going to focus on it. Whereas if you just just add in that one word and change that mentality, just 
it keeps those doors open, which is what I really, it's a really simple thing, Joe, but I really like this one. And I, we like love the, simple, don't like we? the usual tripe you bring to the table. This is a don't, really good one. Don't listen to Lee. You know I bring the, you know I bring value. You know I bring value. <laughs> Remember, that's the thing I liked about this though. It's um because it's simple. It's kiss, isn't it? It's keep it simple, stupid. I love that. And this is very, very easy strategy to put. And if you can put yet in your vocabulary, even just saying it, like you say, it's definitely going to fire off something like a neural pathway that will start to help you create it. And and I love what Mel Robbins has said this before. And I don't know what I just feel like I'm on fire tonight. I don't know what's going on. But Mel, you're I just so all this stuff. Too. You're so modest. All this stuff's coming to my mind. All this stuff's coming to my mind. But Mel Robbins talks about if you've got a goal, like if you've got something that you think you could achieve, like it's achievable, right? Because Jordan Peterson talks about it, and Mel Robbins talks about it. But once you've got that goal, then a checklist opens up about what those little small steps are. Once you get in the habits of it, your brain just naturally starts to to do these things, and now you get a form of habit. And I love that. I love the fact that the, that your brain can actually help you do it, because usually it tries to stop you. But once you start developing those habits and that strength. It, it's you just start to naturally start to do it and i actually learned a lot from you guys actually like i know lee we did that big project we talked about last week didn't we that really helped me because i always thought things were like oh so impossible how are we gonna ever start that and those small steps open up checklists open up oh okay just that little thing there just do that just do that and you just do that and you just do that and you just do, and before you know it you know over like months you've got you created something like this podcast like it's been created like anyway I just feel on fire. I just feel on fire. I just feel like I've got a lot of energy. What's going on? That's what I feel. But anyway, Ryan's just gone off. <laughs> Love it. He's had enough of you. That's why. <laughs> He's gone off. He's had enough. He can't take go. it. He can't take it. Yeah. It's really good. Even if you're just going to steal my last week's topic at the end there, it's still very, very good. Did I? What, what did I steal? What was it? That was it. Small steps. Oh, yeah. One well, that's step at that... a time, I think, was even yeah. the title. I yeah, yeah. But that... it, it was something like that. Yeah, but it is. That is the key, isn't it? And this just adds 100%. to that. It bolts on lovely to that, actually, to be fair, doesn't it? It bolts on to that of taking the smallest... But I think all these things aren't independent of one another, are they? They all link yeah. together and they all kind of build up that right mindset and approach and everything else like that. Well, I think if you added up all the podcasts we've done, it's like a mindset. If you all the ones, It's all a mindset. We, we've been revealing the stuff that we've struggled with. And if you just listen to all the episodes, watched all the episodes, you'll see the development of the mindset, our, like our joint mindset. Hey, what about the mastermind, right? This is, the, this is the development of a mastermind where we have got together and we talk about what we're struggling with. We talk about, you know, we talk about tons of stuff we're struggling with. Like, you know, I've said a ton of stuff, but then we've come through it. We're still talking about it. I know you guys use your journal, which is lovely, right? And you didn't believe in journaling at all. Didn't like meditation. Now you're doing some in the moment stuff, right? All this stuff, is growth and that's it and it grows in your own way it doesn't be exactly the same it's whatever version of it works for you that gets you to where you want to be right absolutely just to make you happy joe and for live on air update oh you can't see it because my virtual background oh you got the background but what is on that? my screen i'm showing to you there yeah it's my oh. it's not working that's my You're journey are moment. you actually yeah. writing every something on I your go, phone every time i go i bloody love that there you go <laughs> that is bloody awesome I thought you'd like that i bloody love that because then you can see that you can see the growth can't you, you can see it and I think that just, well, I don't know, what's it do for you? What, what do, when you do that and you look look at it, what, what, what? I think it keeps me on track and right. motivated and it just, it's a good looking back thing. There you go. There you go. I, I, I rest my case. pleased with me for that. I'm very, very pleased. Very happy, in fact. You're adding to my energy levels, Lee. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm going to go on that tennis court after this and go crush it tonight. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's it. You beat that 73-year-old, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> I got beaten. I got the set. They beat me in the set. I couldn't believe it. Oh, but they were good. They were good, I tell you. That means age is not a thing, right? I heard they were quite average, actually. Lee wasn't there. Everybody, Lee was not there. I challenge you both of you to a game. You come on the court with me, we'll see what happens. Anyway, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Any more on this, Joe, before I do some shilling? No, just to say, just check out the book, Growth Mindset by Carol Dweck. Check out, you don't have to buy the book. Go onto YouTube, just type in Carol Dweck, Growth Mindset. It's brilliant. It's actually brilliant. Actually, on the back of my phone, for a, on my phone for a very long time, I actually had the diagram about fixed and growth mindset. There's a lovely diagram, and I'll put that back on my phone to remind me to continue to grow. Like, I do not want to be that decaying tree. I don't want to, I don't want to be lying down and just like decaying. So just remember, one thing I'd say remember is, just make sure you are doing something and that you're not like die, a dying tree and you're going to rot, right? You want to be, you want to be doing something that's making you grow, making it a bit difficult. So the power of yet is about you leaning into the difficulty, knowing that you've, you've got a high possibility to make you fail, but you're going to keep trying and then eventually you'll make progress. 
and it's the progress not the results we talk about right it's that's the re- it's that's the reward it's the actual doing of it is the reward not the reward it's nice to have the reward when it works but sometimes that's why it's important to focus on the process that we talk about a ton on this podcast Love that show. and i just pull out because i think it's really good having it on your phone background just put it in your subconscious it's a great idea and i'm also for people i'm going to stick the link to the video that joe referred to in the show notes as well so wherever you're listening check that out click the link and you can see that 11 it's just 11 minutes see what joe's talking about it's good definitely and it's also about so ryan for you i know you love games let's talk about gamification of uh knowledge and and growth mindset which i thought was really fascinating actually so that might be something because that's why games work so well but the way they did it did it was really really you know rewarding the process i loved it it was just it was just a great 11 minutes good 11 minutes of your life and again if you're doing that 11 minutes you're growing you're doing it if you go off and do it so remember the big takeaways guys that's what we said learning every day a few shows ago yeah Um, yeah. and despite what i said earlier joe actually doesn't bring tribe to tables loads of great stuff you can check out everything he does on his youtube channel just look for jose noia inspiration nation there are short two three minute videos as well as the full podcast on there get everything you need and check out joe same tag on tiktok as well on his journey to ten thousand listeners and of course you want to put support support the show like what we're doing head over to inspirationnation.org.uk details of the coaching service on there full archive of everything so up to joe's newsletter and of course you can get your inspiration nation merchandise as well joe is modeling the hoodie there give us a look did okay. you ask for a better this is model? the old school the old school hoodie this is the original hoodie this is you you can't get, get this one on the store can you you can't get this one i on don't the store. think this... so but there is something very very similar so you want to get yeah. them before they disappear as well and of course face masks are still on there go a bit 2020 20 2020 oh. 2020 mugs, uh, mugs as well mug shot for the camera inspiration.org.uk oh, mine gets blurred mine gets blurred by my background so we did have the whole the, had the whole three in it's great we did love that <laughs> and we will leave that statement there oh do you know what lee let's just leave that right there <laughs> that's what i said joe that is what i said <laughs> yeah i did not want to say i just got i put myself in a hole right there <laughs> that's a different type that's, of an, that's another, that's another oh well. you two be quiet that's like, no that's it I'm going to shut up right now. On that note, I shall count this down. <laughs> Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch, Catch you guys, guys later. later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free and also don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell then you're going to know when another videos go live and don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out i really really appreciate it and lastly don't forget out to check the newsletter the link is in the description below that's where i can talk directly to you without through the youtube throughout the social because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with inspiration nation ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next so i'd love to see you in the next video so please click on those links please follow through please let's get this community building i appreciate you so until next time i'll see you next video inspiration nation and i'll catch you guys later